Uh, but anyways, my name is Eric Pearson, and my teacher was Iko Ota in Gunma Prefecture. I'm just a student, and this is what I have to share with you. One, two. Between the two. Now, a guy comes along. Suddenly, their foot's not there. Well, boom, as their weight comes down, suddenly, the here, circle. <laughs> Right? So go start, do a couple from these big circles. Big circle. Whoa. <laughs> Bump. Medium circle. And then just get into your little fingertips right here. Fingertips. Bump. And it works. So here, up, and then relax everything down. Comes in. I'm going to give him a line of direction and drop him right down. Technique, whether you're doing it from the jujitsu form in order to come in and deploy your weapon or whatever. To drop him down right here. One, two. Three, all right. And boom. So I'm sliding up a plane. Here I gotta engage my elbows a little bit. Paint down him, always, but, uh... <laughs> All right. Slow to, to react, because you know, he knows we're demonstrating stuff. But here, ah, ha uh -huh. Broke his balance one way, patient. Hit him the other way. Here, go. All right, clear? Just do that. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> All right, be able to be able to do this and work through tension as well, and then bump. and there's the finish to it. Oh, well, quite that nice for you, but if you turn here, you can at least get to Ishiro in a head control dage to throw. But now, you convinced? This nice, steady pushing motion, right? Uh, ah, got him. Having this bridge of rigidity and it's just relaxing and pointing him in the direction that we want to go. Right? But if I push around his body, I get enough of a, a Aikido, we tend to have a habit of here taking five, six steps in order to draw the guy out. Right? Yeah? All right, I don't know, you might not. But here, down. Oh, one, as here, I bring the hand to the hip. Okay. And so when he falls, now he's hanging himself, and his arm is straightened out just from the weight of, uh, of him laying. So this is our initial to the throat and to the side, exit it out. Bump down. Now the restraint here is kind of interesting. With the strike here, kick out, and I can cut it down. And then of course, wow. Well, with our fingertips here, and we get some pretty good results that way. Wow. And so here. What a, here, uh, here, point to him, point down, turn it around. Any of these are fine. Just spiral around his bones. I can do it with both at the same time, <laughs> right? Yeah. This way, here, here. Again, a timing <laughs> thing. Try not to wait because, you know, it's a lot easier on the falls and people don't have all the, the fear of falling. But um, <laughs> spiraling around, not, not, not a, attacking the person where he can resist. That was just another spiral. What I'll do is spiral around this way. Because what is fundamental? I'm here, there. Oh, so sensual. <laughs> right. Again, I'm the actions out of him here. Here, Draw a circle with my fingertips. 
I'm on, we've, we've been working this for a couple hours now. Enough of the biomechanics are ingrained now where I'm getting these structural distortions. Out of Point. So here, up, down. And that's, again, that keto idea, up, down, up, down. And this isn't the keto route, but I really like that. Uh, bring them up. Point them to where you want to mess around with you. Come over here. <laughs> and remember... <laughs> Cover and walk. Drives me crazy. <laughs> here, here. Drill that foot into the ground with your body twist. <laughs> All right, I'm pulling. I'm letting you come back. There we go. All right, one tip. And my attitude here is it's my line. Right? Early. Here. Oh, he's running into a pretty stout wall. <coughs> If you want to get a little slicker with this, hopefully that didn't, that didn't jar you too bad. Offer him direction with the whip as to where you want him to go. Ooh. All right? Turning the torso and the elbow like we have been, but a lot of times I find I don't need it. Elbow right. I can come in and then exit out and then down and get results. So you might, if I do the same thing and spiral it in, I get some pretty cool results right away. 90 degrees. All right, so he's coming in to attack my hand and I'm spiraling around here. Thank you. Here, and what that does is puts a spin into the spine. So now, as I drop any weight, he's already positioned to fight me. But if I just turn the head and drop it, mitzkake, cut his eyes, and then lead that visual energy almost, I think about it, right, all the way. I'm gonna give him shomenate right to his face, which bends that elbow for me. Well, all right. I do re highly recommend doing this with multiple connections, coming to here and try extending through those fingertips there, or, but if, you know, somebody's about to duty grow you, you know, come in and point to the floor around there. Right. Energy comes back into his center, and then you can also project out. So I have bump aikiage that I create in him, and attack. So I came up this plane, the morning glory extension directions and extending in all directions. Here, bump. is. I come and create the age in him. The tekagami. I'm looking into my hand mirror. Boom. Dips. Remember, we need elbow and body rotation as well. All right. So touch the throat, empty it out. Okay. See if that works for you. Questions? Pieces, and now we're trying to create a cursive form of it where I connect to him and then I tell him or I ask him, please, we had in the earlier Aiki Nage form, but now my elbow is going to go. Whew.